Hi, I'm here with my friend Harley, and we have a story for you, don't we, Harley? It's called Excellent Ed. Have you ever wondered what you're good at? Sometimes I just wonder, like, what I'm good at. I see someone who's really good at singing, and I think, well, I wish I were really good at singing. Or I see someone who's really good at running, and I think, I wish I were really good at running. And then I start to wonder, what am I good at? Let's hear this story about Excellent Ed. All the Ellis children were excellent at something, except Ed. And all the Ellis children were allowed to eat at the table and ride in the van and sit on the couch and use the indoor bathroom, except Ed. Elaine was an excellent soccer player Ed preferred to carry the ball in his mouth. The twins, Emily and Elmer, were excellent at math and could add faster than a calculator. Ed could only count to four. Edith was an excellent ballerina and could twirl on her toes. Ed could twirl too, but it wasn't the same. Ernie baked excellent cupcakes. Ed agreed. Mwah. Maybe if I was excellent like Elaine, Emily, Elmer, Edith, and Ernie, then I could eat at the table and ride in the van and sit on the couch and use the indoor bathroom, Ed thought. But what was Ed excellent at? Then he got it. Breaking stuff. I'm definitely excellent at breaking stuff. Ed thought that should earn him a place at the Ellis family table. But before he could jump onto a chair, Elaine zoomed into the kitchen and yelled, I broke the record for most soccer goals in a season. Elaine was better at breaking stuff than Ed. I must be excellent at something else, Ed thought. Then he got it. Losing stuff. Just last week, he lost himself when he wandered out of the backyard. I'm definitely excellent at losing stuff, Ed thought. Ed thought that earned him a ride in the van. But just as he was about to jump in, Elmer shouted, I lost a tooth. Me too, Emily said. Elmer and Emily we're better at losing stuff than Ed. Ah, I must be excellent at something, Ed thought. Better than Elaine, Emily, Elmer, Edith, and Ernie. But what? Forgetting stuff. He always forgot to wipe his paws. And he forgot that he shouldn't water the rose bushes. And he always seemed to forget that he had just eaten. Ed, you just ate, Dad said. I'm definitely excellent at forgetting stuff, Ed thought. He was sure that earned him a nap on the couch. But then Edith made an announcement. I'm the new lead ballerina. When I auditioned, I just forgot to be nervous and danced my best ever. Ed whimpered. He wasn't even the best forgetter. Maybe I'm not excellent enough to be part of the Ellis family. Just then, Ernie dropped half of his peanut butter sandwich. Ed gobbled it up. Wow, Ed, you are excellent at cleaning the floor, Ernie said. Yes, I am an excellent floor cleaner. Maybe that's why I don't eat at the table. Then Emily and Elmer walked in the front door. Ed jumped up and covered them with kisses. Ed, you're excellent at welcoming us home, Emily and Elmer said. Yes, I am an excellent welcomer. Maybe that's why I don't go away in the van. Later, the family squished together on the couch and there was no room for Ed. So he lay across Edith's and Elaine's feet. Ed is excellent at warming feet, Elaine whispered to Edith. 
Yes, I am an excellent feet warmer. Maybe that's why I don't sit on the couch. Ed wagged his tail. He was an excellent Ellis after all. Now, if, it, if he could just figure out why he wasn't allowed to use the indoor bathroom. The end. I hope that you know that you are wonderful and excellent. And I can't wait to hear what it is that you are excellent at. You are a child of God, created in God's image. And God loves you so much. You are wonderfully made. And always know that is true. Right? Right, Harley? Harley agrees. Good night.